back here on Daytime Toronto. Trish, you, you, you must have heard, you know, uh, Misery Loves Company. Of I've course, heard that you know. one. And, and it seems like mm -hmm. some people welcome bad things into their lives, and they're always complaining, and it seems to, you think, why is it that this person is so unlucky? I it know. seems to be they attract the unlucky uh, feelings. They, they're thinking about it all the time, therefore, it comes to them. Well, what exactly. if the opposite's true as well? If the opposite's true, then we're very lucky. If we give out good vibes, we'll get them back. Let's how about, hope. How about we welcome the author of The Law of Attraction, Michael Lozier, to, uh, to tell us how to uh, uh, attract good things to our lives. How are you, mm -hmm. sir? Mm -hmm. Oh, my life's great, thanks. <laughs> good to hear it. I planned it that way. You <laughs> it that way? Yeah. How does one how does one do this then? I mean, we, we're going to get people to pick up your book, but but tell us about this. Uh. Well, the first thing we need to understand is that the law of attraction is existing right now okay. and existing for everybody, whether you like it or not, or whether you believe it or not, or whether you understand it or not. So mm. it's really good to have a good understanding. Okay. You see, it's all about vibrations, and that's kind of a funny word that we tend not to use too often, but there is a word that's buried within the word that we do use, and you both used it a minute ago, and it's the word vibes. Good vibes. And sometimes we talk about picking up a, a bad vibe or picking up a good vibe. You can almost feel somebody's vibe that they're putting off. Palpable. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. The word vibe really comes from the longer word vibration, and law of attraction is really about vibrations. Good so, and bad. It's, yes. So here's what happens. At every moment, we all have a feeling, and every feeling has a vibration attached to it. Mm -hmm. And there's only two kinds of vibrations. There's negative and positive. So when you're disappointed and sad and lonely and bitter and ticked off, in that very moment, you're sending off a negative vibe, and you you're sure not even are. doing it on purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you're feeling joyous and bliss and abundant and excited, in that very moment, you're sending off a positive vibe. Yeah. Right. So just to summarize, at every moment, we're sending off a vibe. And here we're, here's where law of attraction comes in. Law of attraction, which is this universal energy around us, is checking in right now and right now and right now and right now. And every time it's checking, it's checking to find out the vibration that you're sending right now, right now, right now. Yeah. And when it finds it, it is obediently matching it and giving you more of the same, right. whether it's negative or positive. Okay, mm -hmm. so if we're in a bad mood, foul mood, we're yelling at you and we seem to get more and more makes us angry and it's just perpetuating yes. whereas if we're in a good mood sometimes people like to be in your company and they, they're drawn to you and we all know that person that makes us smile and laugh and that, that's right you know so I mean? as you wake up in the morning you're a little bit irritated in bed now you're offering a negative vibration mm -hmm. law of attraction is checking 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 it picks up the negative vibration mm -hmm. and now it starts to unfold and orchestrate all kinds of things to bring you more of the same vibration so oh, wow. you stub your toe and you burn your toast and bad traffic and the server's rude and you say I should have stayed in bed yeah. but you see staying in bed doesn't get rid of the negative vibe. No. So tell us, there's actually three no. steps uh, to make the law of attraction actually work for you in your life, That's but bring right. positive things to you. Tell us a bit about yeah. those three steps. Well, you see, the law of attraction is really about quantum physics, but mm -hmm. I think if I wrote a book about quantum physics, I wouldn't have lots of people interested. So right. the law of attraction, I didn't create it. I didn't invent it. I was mm. just very interested in it because mm -hmm. I was one of those people, like most people, said, you know what? I'm kind. I'm generous. I'm loving. I'm caring. But mm -hmm. sometimes boy, there's some crappy stuff that shows up in my life. What's that all about? <laughs> well, but isn't that the thing, though? Even though you're positive, everything gets attracted to you, good and bad, sometimes. Yes. So, so you got to sort of make sure you only That's attract right. the good things. So ideally, yeah. we want to be more deliberate okay. about the vibration that we're sending off. Yeah. Because right now, and right now, and right now, this powerful force called Law of Attraction is checking. Right. So when it's checking, we want to make sure that we're offering a positive vibration. So it's important to know what you want and yes. to know what you're giving off. To yes. welcome it in, right? Yes. And the truth is, you always know what the vibration that you're sending off by how you feel. So if you're feeling negative, guess what? You're sending off a negative vibration. And law of attraction doesn't know whether you want it or don't want it, or whether it's good or bad, or whether it's healthy or not healthy. It it's it. obedient. That's why it's called the law. How do we then change it? If we're sending off okay. the negatives, and, mm -hmm. and, we, and that's what you want to talk to us, tools for stopping that negativity so that's that we right. can bring good things to us. Yes. So right. Let's face it, nowadays we need good things happening to us. We do. Right. Particularly because there's so much negativity that as soon as we watch it or pay attention to it, now we're offering that vibration. You see, there's three words in our vocabulary that are really the culprit to why we're attracting the things that we don't want. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The challenge, however, is we've probably used them a number of times today. Okay. Right. And the words are don't, not, and no. Wow, we mm -hmm. yell those at kids all the time. I no, know. put that down. No, yes. don't be going over there. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what happens. Remember, law of attraction states, whatever you give your attention, energy, and focus to, you'll mm -hmm. get more of it. So right. every time when I say what I don't want, guess what? I just brought it attention. So if I were to say to you, don't picture a cowboy hat. Well, I know that you know that I know that we all picture, picture a cowboy, cowboy hat. hat. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. I've got a cowboy in my head. <laughs> Yeah. Just gonna stay there all day. Yeah, don't think of an orange. Don't picture the CN Tower. Mm -hmm. Every right. time you say what you don't want, you just brought it attention. Okay, so mm -hmm. say what you do want. Yes, well, that's the simple. Now, here's right. what happens. People will say, 
oh, I don't want my clients to cancel. In that very moment, they just gave attention to canceling clients. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to be difficult. You know, when you read correspondence, it'll say, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Yeah. And now we're just giving the attention for hesitation. hesitation. So don't. Or you'll read, it'll yeah. say, this is not a scam. Well, right. guess what? They just gave attention to a scam. <laughs> but it is a scam, yeah. usually, if it's something sounds too good. Uh -huh. this, this is very, very interesting. So it's all how we phrase everything, we, right. we, what we put out the to words The words we use have a vibration. Okay. For example, when you catch yourself saying, don't, not, and no, and everybody will, mm -hmm. over the next mm -hmm. couple of days or earlier, possibly in the next half hour, people yeah. are going to go, don't, not, and no. In that very moment, here's the correction. Mm -hmm. Simply say, so what do I want? Right. And here's why. When you go on a rampage about what you don't want, you're offering a negative vibration. Sure. And the very moment you say, so what do I want? Well, guess what? The words change. So if I were to say, I don't want to be late, and I said, oh, I just said don't, not, and no. What do I want? Well, I want to be on time. Be on time. Right. When you go from what you don't want to what you do want, the words change. And when the words change, the vibration changes. And the best news of all, you can mm. only hold one vibration at a time. So let's make it a good one. And now as you're offering the new positive vibration, guess what? Law of Attraction is checking, 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 checking. Mm. And it's caught you offering the new positive vibration. And the better news of all, it doesn't know what you offered vibrationally yesterday or two days ago or for how long it's been. It's just now. You, you know, we make lots of declarative statements. Mm -hmm. I hear business people say, oh, business slows down on Mondays. Mm -hmm. Well, would you put We've that on your bathroom that. mirror as right. an affirmation? Business no slows down on Mondays. No but even though they're just words, they have a vibration attached to them. Are we not more, nothing more than really, in a way, it seems, computers? And if we program ourselves to say don't, not, and no... We're just, as you say, sending out the bat, and we're also yes. reinforcing the negative. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, okay. sometimes people are curious about what it is that they're offering vibrationally. They'll yeah. think, I wonder what the vibes are I'm sending off in this area of my life. Well, mm -hmm. it's quite simple. Mm. If you're curious about what the vibes are that you're sending off in any area, you simply need to go that area and take a look and see what you're getting. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect match. Wow. So basically, you just have to pay more mm. attention to how you're speaking, what you're mm. thinking, and how you're feeling, and then you can, you can make re new reactions. Affirmations. Yeah. Uh, change right. things to change make them more positive. The, yes, so the words. be more aware of yes. what you're giving off and what you're taking in. Yes. Question for you: What about uh, uh, our actions? Uh, do they count as well? In other words, if, if one stops to help somebody who stumbled, perhaps, and help them up, and you know that's an act of goodness. Is that sending other good well, vibrations? Well, it's the vibration. It's not yeah. the act. It's no, the vibration. No, no, no. So you know what I mean? Like caring for others, doing yeah, well, something that's, to help. You'd be somebody. offering a good positive vibration. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It's another reason why affirmations don't work for most people. You know, for example, an affirmation somebody might say that I'm in a loving relationship. Well, you can say those words a hundred times, but if you're not in a loving relationship, how does it feel? So you're mm -hmm. reading the positive affirmation that says, I'm in a loving relationship, and now you're feeling the vibration, thinking, well, no, I'm not. I'm not mm. in love. Matter of fact, I don't even have a mate, and you can feel yourself going on that negative spiral. Well, here's sure. the news. Yeah. Law of attraction doesn't care what the words are. No. It cares about how you feel about what the words are. Okay. And that's why affirmations don't work. You're saying a positive affirmation, and now you're offering a negative vibration, and law of attraction is responding to that. Well, it's because you're going for the vibration, isn't it? That's right. Exactly. You're like the fifth member of the Beach Boys. Good vibrations are what you're preaching here. I like that. And so, part, part of what I'm doing right now is I'm touring across Canada with the Learning Annex, and I have a seminar here in Toronto on September 30th with mm -hmm. the Learning Annex. It's two and a half hours long, and it's, it's a how-to seminar, and I'm really all about the how-to. Matter of fact, um, my book, Law of Attraction, is a national Canadian bestseller. Mm -hmm. It's 100 pages long, and I know I did a good job because men are buying it. That's well, that, that is a good point. Uh, that's the truth. <laughs> I mean, men are gobbling this book up, so I must have did a good job. Thank you so much for being here. You're, thank you you're so much. Fresh, yeah. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank sure, you so wonderful. much. Yeah. The Law of Attraction is available in bookstores, or you can check it out on uh, www.thelawofattractionbook.com. It, it's, it's fascinating to read mm -hmm. this, folks. It's, it's wonderful. Don't forget uh, the Learning Annex tomorrow night, uh, September 30th. What time is it? Uh, Remember, it's tomorrow at September 30th, 6.45 to 8.45. And you can call the Learning Annex or go learn, Learning Annex. Uh, dot com and check out more. There you Thank have you so it, folks. Much, Give off those good vibrations. And it comes back to every you. day. Day uh, three of Freebie Friday. T tell yourself.